Growing up in Georgia, right over the border, you know, your coach told you do you do one thing, don't let them beat you when you're in Clemson. Is that something you got in your mind today going into the game this weekend? Um, you know, my mindset is, you know, treat it like a regular game and, and just, you know, play from some ball, of course. And, um, you know, going to this game, we know, you know, everyone knows how this season been going. But, you know, it, you know, in this game, you know, the records are thrown out the window. And, you know, it's, you know, Carolina versus Clemson and, you know, the, you know, the best team wins on that day. But, um, you know, growing up, you know, I never really focused on this rivalry. Um, it was always Georgia and Florida. Um, and, you know, kind of weird, you know, living down the street from Athens, I was always a Georgia fan. I'm a Florida fan. So um, I didn't really find out, you know, how big this rivalry was until I, you know, started getting recruited, um, you know, by Clemson. And, you know, my, one of my head coaches, or one of my coaches back, you know, in high school was always a big Clemson fan. And, you know, he was just, you know, he don't really like Carolina. So, you know, I told him, I told him back in the 10th grade that you know, if I'm a quarterback, you know, I don't want to lose to him. So, uh, you know, just treat it like a normal game and um, you know, keep it like that. You treat it like a normal game, but I'm sure last year you found out it's not a normal game. <laughs> right. Uh, you know, for you know the fans and, and, and you know the people and you know just the you know respect and you know, just have that you know that that you know, full year of just you know having the you know being on top of the state um, and it's really big. So. Um, you know, for me, just keep everyone down and, and you know, just treat it like, like the other game before. And, you know, it's the biggest game of the year um, because it's the Nets. And, you know, let's go from there. Why was it so important last year that you play in it when you had the torn knee? And why was that such a big deal for you to play in that game? Uh, just for me, I just wanted to finish out the year. Um, you know, my, my year was up and down with injuries. And, um, you know, just you know, not being able to finish out the Georgia Tech game and, and not play the, the Georgia State. And, um, when Sweeney and, and Danny Poole was, you know, when we had that meeting with my parents and saying that, you know, I was able to play, you know, I just wanted to finish up the year, um, you know, on a good note. So, um, you know, that was pretty much my reason. Um, and, you know, it came out with a big win. What were you thinking when you went out one play near the goal line there where it looked like you scored, but they said you were down to one, but you ended up, even without an ACL, puking a guy. Do you look at, have you looked at that play from that game and thought, man, how'd I do that with no ACL? Um, I haven't seen it in a while, but I mean, it, it was just, you know, in that moment, you know, I wasn't, you know, during the game, I wasn't thinking about my knee. Um, you know, I was just out there just playing ball. And, and you know, I was, you know, for me to be able to go out there and play, you know, Coach Reed said I had to be a playmaker and, and make plays. And, you know, I didn't want to be, you know, that person that, you know, hold the team back. So, you know, I just went out there and, and did what I could. And, um, you know, I did, you know, pretty good. Coach Sweeney took some criticism after that from play, allowing you to play in that game. Kind of what was your reaction looking back on it to the whole thing of allowing you to play with a serious injury? Uh, it wasn't his fault. It was my decision. Um, you know, it, it was something that me and my parents, you know, talked about. And they said if I was comfortable with it, you know, then I was able to play. You know, it, it's not like we're in, you know, Pee Wee or, you know, middle school ball. You know, this is, you know, collegiate football. So, um, you know, I'm old enough to make my own decisions. And, you know, I wanted to play. And so, Say, you know, if I was, you know, capable of going out there and, um, you know, making plays, then I can go out there. And, um, you know, I really didn't think too much about it because, you know, a week later I was going to have surgery, so um, there really wasn't anything else I could do to it. Did you find going into last year's game that week that for the older players it, it was tight or tense at all just because those 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 older guys they lived through a five-year losing streak or at least parts of it? Um, you know, I don't really know about the previous years, but I know last year, you know, the older guys and uh, the people that have been around, you know, for that, you know, 0 and 5 street, uh, street, you know, they really wasn't uh, tense about the game. Um, they were comfortable, you know, they were excited, and, you know, they just had that belief and, and that trust in, you know, the players around them, um, knowing that we can go out there and, and you know, turn the, turn the whole street around and, uh, you know, just be able to win. And, you know, that's what we did. You know, the seniors led us. Um, all the guys that's running in the field right now, I was a big part of that, and you know they you know, got the team ready, and you know, we came out with the win. You compare the Georgia Florida rivalry to this one. This one's an in, in, in state. Do you, right. you found that that's a little bit different in, in the nature of the way the fans look at the game? Uh, yeah, of course. It's <laughs> uh, I mean it's very big, especially just being in state, and um, you know just trying to you know have the you know, be the top team in the state. So. Um, you know, both of them are big, but you know, this one is you know, a little, little extra because you know they both can say like you said. What's the reaction been since that?
365 days later since that game against South Carolina on campus, the fan base. Is, do people talk to you about that probably more than anything else, just the outcome of the game and what you went through in playing in the game? Um, yeah, um, I know earlier in the year they did a lot more, um, but you know, people you know, still probably don't talk about it from you know 10 years from now, and um, you know it, it was just just good to see the Clemson fans you know happy and um, you know very excited, and you know a lot of people you know come up to me and say that you know they can go to work now smiling and, and you know you know brag to their Carolina uh, you know, co-workers and, and people like that. So. Um, you know, it was pretty cool to just, you know, to hear that and to see the fans, you know, happier, you know, about that win. Have you thought at all or reflected much about how far you've come from this time last year? You went into that game with that injury, you had surgery, you went through all that rehab, and now you're the quarterback in the number one team in the country. Has any of that hit you yet of how far you've come from this day to now? Uh, I think about it all the time, you know, just all the hard work and dedication. And, um, you know, right now it don't seem like, you know, for the, the outside people that don't know what, you know, I really went through. Uh, it just seemed easy and, you know, it just came on natural. But, you know, it took a lot of time, you know, sacrifice, and, uh, just a lot of hard work, you know, uh, blood, sweat, and tears just to, you know, wake up early in the morning, do rehab, go to class, and just, you know, see my teammates out there, especially in the spring, uh, you know, playing. And, you know, I'm just sitting there watching. Um, even, you know, part of the summer, you know, I didn't really get no uh, real football action until fall camp. And so, um, you know, just having those nine months off was just very hard for me. Um, you know, the, the hard work and uh, you know, dedication pays off and you know, it's paying off right now. Clemson has been minus two in turnovers five times this year. It hasn't cost y'all, but has that been a big point of emphasis that you got to turn that around at this point of the year? Uh, yeah, uh, you know, sooner or later it's going to bite us in the butt, but, um, you know, we've just been having that love on our side. And, um, you know, and that's one of the big things that, you know, one of our goals of, you know, winning the game, you know, winning the turnover margin. Um, you know, we try to do that each and every game. Um, sometimes it don't work out, but, um, you know, we just try to find a way to win. And, um, you know, it's been working out you know, so far. Last year you had the pressure of trying to break the streak. Now it's a, a whole different kind of pressure. You're, you're number one. You're trying to keep your playoff <coughs> aspirations alive. And you're a huge favorite for the first time in a long time in this rivalry. Can you kind of compare and contrast the two different levels of pressure last year, the streak, this year, trying to keep the playoff hopes alive? Um, you know, I wouldn't say pressure. You know, uh, I didn't really have any pressure last year. You know, I just went out there and played ball. And it's the same way this year. You know, just go out there, have fun, and, and do what we do. Um, you know, I wouldn't say it's pressure um, because we know what we are capable of doing, and, and we know our plan, and we know, uh, you know, what situation we're in. And so, um, you know, it's a one-game season. So, I mean, there's no pressure for you know this team to you know, go out there and. and win the game we just go out there and play Clemson ball and uh, let everything else take care of itself. Can you critique uh, Deion Kane's uh, technique on that throw to run pro and um, do you get really excited do you enjoy lining up a wide receiver and maybe uh, get the opportunity to catch a touchdown at some point down the road? Um, you know, Deion he actually played quarterback in high school so um, you know he a great ball he kind of under threw him you know, if he would have threw him out a little more he would have scored but um, I think he was just you know excited just be able to, you know, show up, showcase his arm, and you know, he's, uh, you know, been, you know, an athlete, and capable of making those plays, and you know, for me to play receiver, um, you know, it's just something that you know, the coaches want two quarterbacks stand at the same time um, and try to make a problem for the defense, and who knows uh, what's going to happen later on in the, in the season. Are you okay with the way they? limit your snaps in the second half of some of these football games where maybe you could be putting up some st stats that would help you maybe win some awards or be more in the running for those awards or, or, or is the ultimate goal just win the football game if that means you sit out some plays in the third quarter or the fourth quarter you're 100 percent fine with it i'm fine with you know any situation or any uh you know thing or coach many has you know it depends on the game and you know the stats don't really matter to me um, i've said that you know all year um as long as we get the w's and and win the game, that, that's probably the only stat you know, I care about. Um, you know, the award's gonna take care of itself. You know, people notice me, um, regardless if I won the awards or not. Um, you know, but it's not all about me. You know, it's about this team, it's about Clemson. And, uh, you know, it's good to see the younger guys get in and play. And it was great to see the, you know, the seniors that uh, don't really get to play, you know, playing that last game in Death Valley. So, um, you know, we had the game under control and uh, it was good to see Kelly Bryant get in there and, and make some big plays and, and see the you know senior and, and backup you know, O line and receivers get in and uh, it was great to see a lot of younger defensive guys get in to play also. So um, you know getting guys experience because we you know we're gonna need them later on in the year. And, um, you know it was great to see that. What kind of a threat did South Carolina put? They kind of have a 
are static, you know, no one can match us. So uh, we just keep doing that and, and keep moving forward. Do you know anything about Perry Orton or any other quarterbacks? I do not. No, I've never been in. Uh, any of, kind of an appreciation for the route that someone like Orton has to take, just the walk on route to be a football team? Uh, he's a walk on. Was a walk on. I was walk on. I mean, it's a lot of hard work. And, um, you know, you, you start at the bottom. And, He's got to put in the time and, and grind for it. And uh, I know he, that's what he did. And uh, you know, now he's leading the team. Um, and you know, he probably didn't know how far or how soon he was going to be able to have the opportunity. But now, you know, he has it. And um, you know, best of luck to him. Jamal Hopper had his best game of the season on Saturday. Do you feel like your rapport with him has been improving over the course of the season? Um, I mean, every receiver is going to have that that type of day. And, just you know, his time. Whenever the opportunities come for him, you know, he was um, able to, to capitalize. And it just depends on you know, this offense who you know have the opportunities to make the plays. And uh, you know, his opportunity came in this game, and you know, he capitalized. So um, who knows what's going to happen? You know, the next game, um, you know, it could be you know Hunter Renfro or Travis Scott. So um, it just depends on the game situation. How does it feel to be named the ACC Offensive Back of the Week for the fourth time this season? Uh, it's an honor. It feels good, um, of course. Um, you know, it's a lot of credit goes to my teammates and the players around me to you know, help me uh, achieve those awards. And um, you know, it's just another one in the books. And I uh, just keep, you know, keep the motivation going and, and keep moving forward. Over the course of a year, do you guys pay attention at all to what South Carolina's doing because of the other big in-state school? Were you, were you a game, you know, a game story or you know, worry about? Hey, I wonder what they did uh, earlier. We haven't been focused on no one around around you know, the state or the country. We've been focusing on on Clemson, and that's why we've been doing uh, a good job and being successful because we're focusing on what we have in state. Um, you know, just one week at a time. You know, we we get sidetracked with another team, then we're gonna slip in and mess up our you know dreams and goals. So um, yeah, we wasn't focused on what South Carolina had done this year or you know any other team around the country. Um, you know, this is probably the only week we want to. Go like then like three weeks or a month and not even know at all. Of, hey, South Carolina's two and two. They're zero and four. They're four and zero. Nah, I'm, I, I don't even know their record now. So um, you know, it's just you know, I know that we're eleven to zero, and we're trying to be one and zero this week. And uh, you know, it's just you know, that's how we roll. Do you like having a rivalry game in the season, especially if you have an ACC championship game to play after that? Does it matter? Um, I mean, of course, this game matters, but um, you know, a game is a game. Um, you know, I'm just happy and blessed you know, to be able to play in those and these types of games, and just another one, you know, in the books. And um, you know, I'm just you know glad to be back, you know, able to you know play and, and you know play a full year. Um, and so I mean, that's that's pretty much about that. Can you talk to the last quarterback at Clemson that was in the situation you're in right now? That'd be an open door. Have you had any conversation with him? I have not. My plans for Thanksgiving is football, of course, and then right after practice Thursday, um, go home because um, I'm only an hour away and you know, spend time with my family and friends. And uh, what I'm thankful for is you know, just you know, being able to play football, uh, my family, you know, this team, um, y'all, of course. take a full day and enjoy, or at least a half day and enjoy Thanksgiving, or is it almost like dinner, hour with the family, but then, man, we got a huge game to play. I can't really embrace the holiday full. No, I'm going I'm to embrace it. You know, I'm going <laughs> to spend time. Of course, we he's probably going to tell us the same thing. He's going to embrace this time off uh, with the family and, and just, you know, be thankful and just sit back and, you know, watch the football and spend time with your family and just be thankful that, you know, you have a family and, and uh, you know, the position that we're in and the opportunity we have. You know, a lot of people don't get this opportunity. And, um, you know, a lot of people out there, you know, are, are struggling with things. So, um, you know, I'm going to sit back and, and be thankful and then, 
what you think about the defense. <laughs> 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 uh, 